Whoa, it's almost like we're standing on the surface of a giant spinning ball. Hey, how you doing? If we do a star trial while looking at the celestial equator, it's clear to see that we're standing on a giant spinning ball. We can use the globe Earth model and our latitude to help us find the Earth's celestial equator. From my latitude of 32.7 degrees in the southern hemisphere, if I point my camera down from zenith, or from straight up, at the same angle as my latitude and do a star trail, and we should know we're in the right spot, we'll see close to parallel trails, something like this. But if the Earth is flat, and I look up 57 degrees or down 33 degrees and do star trails, I'd expect to see something like this. I'm pretty sure it was one of you in the comments section of one of my other star trail videos that suggested I do this. I think it was Rockin' Robbins or Scott Meyer, but I'm not sure. Alright, this is how I did it. I aligned my camera from 0 down to 32.7 or 33 degrees as best as I could. I then mounted my tripod on a small table so it could get above the roof of my house a bit. First up, here's the uncut time lapse. After this one plays, I'll show you the star trails. It's actually pretty cool how the angle of my latitude aligns with the celestial equator in this way. Damn clouds! Remember, this is looking high up into the northern sky from the east coast of Australia. Okay, and now here's the star trails from that time-lapse footage. I'm really interested, well, sort of interested in what Flat Earthers might have to say about this one, or even what you all think Flat Earthers would say, seeing as most of you know them pretty well by now. Sorry I can't remember which one of you suggested this, but whoever it was, make sure you remind me in the comments. And here's the completed star trail. This is my northern sky. The sun, the moon, and the planets all appear to move through this region. The thing I really like about this trail is it shows us that it's, it's like we're standing on a giant spinning ball and we're looking outward watching the sky fly by. Also, here's a stacked image from the time lapse. This is about 30 frames stacked. Thanks heaps for watching, commenting, and subscribing. There's a few of you that watch and comment on almost every video, and I really thank you all for that. Thanks heaps to my patrons, John Stock, Walter Bisland, and J-Mac. Oh, if you ever do get the chance, make sure you kindly tell all the morons to stick their crayons up their noses. See ya.